Turning now to Nicholas County this morning, where a state of emergency is now in effect after severe flash flooding last week. Governor Andy Bashir toured the damage yesterday afternoon, and he spoke with flood victims who say they need help fast. Evelyn Schultz is live in Carlisle this morning with the latest in this continuing coverage. We're standing in the parking lot of Trax Restaurant, which has been forced to shut down temporarily after flood waters caused major damage damage inside the restaurant. Take a look behind me here. This is flooring that had to be ripped up from inside the restaurant. It is now laying outside in the parking lot and you can see some of the damage inside that empty restaurant this morning. You can see furniture like their fireplace that had to be pulled out of the restaurant. The owner tells us this is the aftermath of 18 inches of flood water that got inside their building. This morning, there are still many unanswered questions for people who live and work in Carlisle. Some have lost everything they owned or even had their homes condemned. State officials say Nicholas County received more than four inches of rain last week, causing that devastating flash flooding downtown and along Brushy Fork Creek. One woman died after her trailer was swept away. Around 80 homes and 30 businesses in all were destroyed. County leaders estimate there is more than $1.5 million in infrastructure damage, including to the city's sewer system, which is still not operational. We spoke with another business owner. Her building was also damaged in the flood. She said, though, she was most concerned with community members who lost everything. All their furniture sitting out on the streets, you know, no food, no clothes. Their cars couldn't go anywhere, no electronics, nothing. Every now and then I got to walk away and get a little emotional, try not to let my kids and stuff see it so they don't get as tore up. Yesterday, many flood victims expressed frustration over the fact that it took the governor and other state leaders five days to visit the site of the damage. They say they need immediate relief. The governor says that is on the way. FEMA is set to survey the damage starting tomorrow. Governor Bashir encouraged people to get in direct contact with his office, but people we spoke to say it is still a very long road to recovery here in Carlisle. And Evelyn, what has been so done so far to help people start this recovery process? Claire, the Kentucky Division of Emergency Management has been on scene since Friday to help get this process started with local officials. Director Michael Dossett says they're in the process of creating a multi-agency recovery center to help people with things like insurance or agriculture. Right now, the Kentucky National Guard Armory is being used as a flood resource re distribution center. It is also available for people to shower. Mm. All right, Evelyn Schultz live in Carlisle this morning. Evelyn, thank you.